the riot in the capital um, has a great uh, impact um, on supply chains ac across the country, making things even more unequal for communities uh, far from the uh, capital where basic goods and uh, already had to access and uh, are very expensive. Um, I could give an example where um, uh, last week, um, uh, some a uh, few of the hard shop uh, stores where we buy materials to build clean water systems and latrines in remote communities where we work was also burned down. Now we will need to look elsewhere for these goods and potential potentially uh, pay higher price than before. I'm really worried about uh, the impact on not just cyclone alone, but the impact of uh, COVID-19 uh, related risk with more outside personnel coming into uh, our country that has been COVID free for so, uh, for so long or so far with a very vulnerable health systems. And uh, also um, we are, you know, we are very concerned that it will be harder to respond to any cyclones over the next few months because um, our uh, cyclone season starts from uh, November to up to April. Now it will be harder to reach communities after cyclones, but also harder to get the money to respond and deliver the uh, emergency uh, relief. And we also work with communities to prepare for disaster and uh, build back uh, stronger after cyclones, but this work will become much more challenging as more infrastructure is damaged from the riots.